Hello, and as usual, welcome once again to the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society. This wonderful, unbelievable place where they take in animals, they love them, they help them, and wonderful people like you give them homes. And we are starting this time with a cat. Well, I'd like everybody to get up and go and look in the mirror and say to themselves, do I have a soft and tender heart? Am I a particularly kind person? And then you come back and you sit down and you watch the rest of this show. But particularly you watch about Samurai. So Samurai is 15 years old and um, he is at, in the beginning of renal failure. That, you know, his kidneys are not doing so well. And so he is obviously on a special diet and he has to have a lot of wet food and be really you know, persuaded to drink a lot. And as you can see, he is a darling. I, I just wish I was sitting down by a fire and or sitting down looking out the window in some mountains or something and had samurai on my lap because that would be, to me, a perfect picture of contentment. And so you're probably not going to have samurai around for that long, but wouldn't you like to give him his last time on this earth a, a very special time? when he knows a lot of love and affection. Isn't that right, Samurai? And he's a very intelligent cat, too. He said, what was it you said? Yes, okay. And he likes a lot of attention. So please, give him attention, give him love. Just give him a little bit of time when he can really, really blossom under your, under your care and affection. All right, so, okay. So now I'm introducing you to Bosco. She is lovely. And what's more, she gets the senior sweetheart discount. Isn't that right, Bosco? <laughs> she said, yes, and do you know why? Because I'm seven years old, or seven years young. Um, so, and she's very beautiful, shepherd mix, and a very sweet, and she's got a sweet face. Can you turn and look at the camera, Bosco? Come on, right there. She's got these almost like little wrinkles on her forehead. <laughs> she's very sweet. Yeah, but she does. Uh, she, no, she. Um, she does have. There are some um, things we need to know about Bosco. I don't know what happened to her earlier, but she needs to be with people all the time. Um, she uh, just does. She cannot be alone. She would be wonderful for retired people who, you know, just pot her out sometimes and go for a walk. With they could do that with her or if they go and visit grandchildren or something like that, then she could go too. Um, she's good with children, loves children, and they love her. Um, and, but she wants to be by herself. No other dogs, no other cats, um, but just with someone who's going to give her 100% love and understanding. Um, and <laughs> I mean, and she's, oh, she's so soft, so soft. Look at this. She said, oh, this is just absolutely wonderful um, and um, so I'm sure there is somebody like that two retired people or one retired person would be wonderful and she just would be a full-time companion and by your bed at night um, sitting right beside you if you're on the sofa or if you're in a an armchair and there's no room for her she would be right there at your feet and um, she would be um, love taking, taking you for walks. And then if you had a little bit of a garden, she could go out the back and, and uh, have her pee and poop out there. And um, yes, I think um, she does need somebody special. But then I think she's a very special dog. Won't you see? Yes, and you love Alexa, don't you? She does. She loves yeah, she to be loves outside. She loves to be especially in the snow, but mm -hmm. she doesn't need any heavy walks or something. She's no. very happy to, you know, yes. trot along with oh, you yes. when she doesn't pull out yeah. around the leash. Yeah. Well, that's good if it's yeah. someone, you know, another senior sweet sweetheart with two legs instead of four. <laughs> so that would be great. So she doesn't, she doesn't really require anything very much but your love and attention, um, soul love and attention for 24 hours a day and night. So um, isn't that right, darling? And very soft and very sweet. And um, yes, and she, this dog just deserves, she deserves to finally have found her little bit of heaven. So please, just think about it and um, come and meet her because to meet her is to love her. And she deserves you. She really does. 
and I'm sure there are many people out there too who deserve her because she's so lovely and loving and kind and beautiful. She said, oh, I like all of that, and it's all true. So please come visit the, um, up at the humane, Lucy McKenzie Humane Society and ask for Bosco, and she will be so pleased to see you. Well, this is Stitch. Hello, Stitch, up there. Yeah, he said, I like to be up high. I can look down on people, and that makes me feel good. <laughs> well, you've got a point there, Stitch. You'd better be up there than down there, or down here, anyway. And uh, he said, well, I'm very comfortable. I've got my whole walkway all around here. I've got a mailbox that I want to... Uh, oh, there's somebody in it. But anyway, never mind. Um, he said, I'm terribly handsome. I'm very conscious of that and I really like to be admired very much. He said, I'm uh, just over a year old, so I'm young, I'm just starting out life, and uh, when I come to live with you, that's good, because I've got plenty of energy to uh, point you in the directions that I like to be looked after. Isn't that right, Stitch? You know, so he said, well, tell me, you know, the sort of food I like, uh, you know, plenty of uh, places to look out of the windows, um, you know, I'm a very good meter and greeter, and um, I like, uh, you know, I'd like to be on your bed if that's possible, but I do understand if it's not possible, um, I won't say I like it. Yeah, I know, I had quite a conversation with Stitch. Um, he's definitely a personality, so, um, but he, he says I would, I fit pretty well into anybody's home because I would soon make myself needed and wanted and attended to. I think that's the main thing about Stitch, isn't it? And he said, now you can admire me entirely and how beautiful I am. And I've just had enough of being talked about. Whoops, Stitch. Well, we're only seeing, well, you can see the whole thing, can you? Right. There he is. And somebody else is coming out of the mailbox. I don't know who that is. <laughs> anyway, Stitch is going to be a great companion for anyone. And you're going to have to get used to, you know, jumping around Stitch and, and doing his lordship's bidding. But he's also very loving and very pretty and handsome to look at. Um, and, a, and a cat with character. And character has a capital C. So please come and see him. Um, he said, I, I would really like to be settled somewhere with someone, with my own person or people. Isn't that right, Stitch? Yeah. Good. Good. So here we have Katie May. This is Alexa, by the way, um, and this is Katie May. She is a blue tick walker hound. Isn't she beautiful? Look at those incredible colorings. Absolutely lovely. So obviously, Katie May, she's a year and a half. She needs a big, nice, big, uh, fenced-in, very fenced-in yard. How is she with other dogs? Oh, she's good with other dogs. She would l and probably really almost a necessity so that she plays. Um, I have a f yeah. I have a friend who has a young um, yellow lab and yellow retriever, and he um, goes to doggy daycare twice a week, and he plays all day with other dogs, and he comes home exhausted. So something like that would be good for Katie May on a regular basis. She definitely needs to go to um, obedience classes, which might be a little difficult at the beginning because you know she gets excited, but persevere. And then she would be brilliant also um, at all of the other exercises where you go in and out of tunnels and up ladders and all sorts of things. She would love that. But number one is probably um, to give her um, a good training classes, maybe one, two, and three, because she's very sweet-natured. Um, and um, she, you know, she said, yes, I'd like a good place to play. But on the other hand, I also love my people. And she's very fit. She's got the most gorgeous coat. Haven't you, sweetheart? And very affectionate. Um, I would say walks only on a leash, wherever you are, because um, hounds tend to smell something and they're gone. Um, I had a beagle for years. And, uh, and he, <laughs> he was a rascal. But um, he was never off leash when we were out from um, my house, his home which had a really nice fenced in, has a really nice fenced in yard on the back. So otherwise I can't say, is she spayed? Do you know she that, is, Alexa? Yeah. She's yeah. spayed, so she's all ready for you. And she said, oh yes. And she said, I do actually like riding in a truck, not in the back, never in the back. 
I don't think that's even legal to have a dog in the back because uh, if they stop suddenly, it can be thrown out. And if you've got them on a leash in the back, boy, that's it. So anyway, but she said, no, I'd like to sit in the front seat beside the driver and just look down on everybody as they go by. Isn't that right? But she said, I'm very sweet and probably only older children. Um, I would say sort of 14 and up who are fair. Yeah. But she's, she's a bit bouncy for young children. But anyway, she said, all in all, I'm a wonderful dog, beautiful, affectionate, loving, and I'd like to come home with you. So this is Gwen. She's a very sweet little five-year-old cat. And um, so she would like to be somewhere with no other cats. She said, I just want it to be me, Gwen, the only cat. I don't know about dogs. No. Do you, do you know anything about dogs? She said, I don't like to mention them, but that doesn't mean to say I don't like them. So I think she's quite a chatterbox, this. So if you live on your own, it would be great, because she could really chat to you. Um, but otherwise, she, I like her, because she's just this tiny little gray cat with short hair, and oh, nice itch there. It's all right, the, dogs, the cats and dogs here do not have fleas, um, because they're very careful here. They look after them wonderfully, and um, they all get the right stuff to keep fleas and things like that out of them out of their fur. Uh, so, they are back. I can't praise the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society enough, the way they look after their animals, and, you know, some of whom are very sad and lost and distraught to be here for various reasons, and, you know, they've all lost the homes they've known, um, and so they're just wonderful here, they're so kind, and these animals just flourish here. And then we try and find them a home where they're going to flourish again, for the rest of their lives. So, whoopsie, Gwen, there you are. Yes, you're being filmed, darling. So, um, oh, that's right, she did just remind me, Gwen, when she was up here, that um, this is uh, February's sweetheart month, so I'm afraid we didn't mention it last month, but... Um, yes, hello, darling, hello, hello, hello. Um, and so, uh, senior sweetheart month. So if you come anything over seven years old, um, you get a very special discount on that. And we do have quite a few older animals here. That's dogs or cats. And the other thing is um, that, you know, if something's a little like when perhaps maybe five years old, we could squeeze it for you, I'm sure. And I was told that by the bosses. So um, just please, please come. Um, we, they do so well here in getting these animals homes and getting them out of here. Um, isn't that right? Yes. Gwen said, you're actually meant to be talking about me. Well, I'm sorry, Gwen, but I just had to mention seniors. I did. I had to mention seniors month, senior sweetheart month. So come, you've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Are we open on Sunday? No, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> come. Saturday would be the best day, or Friday, or Thursday. Got three days. So you've seen, we haven't, we've got one more, one or two more cats to show you. And then, so there'll be no excuse whatsoever for not taking one of them. They're all very different. So we'll advance to our next one and say goodbye and thank you to Gwen. So now we're going to offer you a brother and sister. Uh, there is a year between them. Uh, this is Penny. It says her name there, Rosalind, so you to know. So this is Penny. And... Um, she uh, is, uh, Penny is five years old, and her brother Pluto is six years old, but they would like to go together. So I was just thinking, if there's someone watching this program who has an empty house, now, an empty house is wonderful sometimes, but there'll be times perhaps when you feel a little lonely, wouldn't it be lovely to fill your house with two of the most gorgeous cats? Quite large cats, but... <clears throat> I don't know whether they're on a diet or not, but never mind, we won't, it's not polite to talk about that sort of thing in front of people, or animals, cats, anyway. But Penny is very sweet, aren't you darling? And she said, yes, and I love my brother, and we have a great time together. And she said, um, I would really like to be in your house if uh, you just don't have anybody else in there, certainly in the feline way, um, and I would, fill your house with uh, cat and uh, cat and cat and cat 
and she said, I love my food, and um, also um, I, I just like to be petted and adored and spoilt along with my brother. So if you're feeling a little lonely, if you take Penny and Pluto together, you won't need to be lonely anymore because you'll be quite busy running around looking after two cats. Isn't that right, Penny? She said, yes, that's right. So come and see me, because if you see me, I'm very, very pretty, and you'll love me. Go on, sweetie. Hello. Oh, you going to go in there? No? All right. Good boy. Okay, go ahead. Good boy. So this is Pluto. You, you, you can see um, he might need to go on to a little bit of a diet. Diet, sorry. Sorry, Pluto, that's not nice to talk about in front of people. Yes. So, um, but he's gorgeous. He's very good looking. Nice purr, lovely, perfect purr. Yes. And what's better than to, I could say, come home tired, weary, disappointed, maybe stressed from the office, and you are met with Pluto. And his sister, of course, sorry, Penny, yes, sorry, yes. Um, uh, and they are purring away, so pleased to see you. If they could, they'd get up there in the kitchen and make you a cup of tea and coffee, but they're very happy to sit with you while you make yourself a cup of coffee or tea and then sit with them on the sofa and pour out all your troubles of the day. And they would listen and then they would purr again and then they would just snuggle down to you and you'll feel better immediately. So, you are just gorgeous, aren't you? Yes, yes, he says, and go, what? Oh, okay. Go on about how beautiful and handsome I am because I really like that. So you have to remember that you must do that, particularly with Pluto. He really likes the admiration. Um, Penny's a little more grounded, perhaps. So please come and see them. And I mean, even if you're, you've got, you know, your house isn't that empty, you can always fit two more beings in it. So please, come and give them a home. Thanks. Let's go. Right. So this is Naomi, Naomi. sorry, I, the English, the British pronunciation is a little different, so I'm trying to do, obviously do the American. And she is, um, oops, um, she is three years old, and she's very sweet, um, older children, because she's a little bouncy, and um, obviously the fenced-in yard, but I say that every time, but every dog really needs to have a fenced-in yard, because if not, even the quietest, sweetest of dogs can see a squirrel or something across the road or, and go, bam, you know, off. Uh, so it's better to always have a fenced in, even if it's not the whole garden, but part of it where the dog can be and be happy and okay. So uh, let me see. So our beautiful uh, canine here is, um, let me see, she's three, she's um, husky, shepherd mix, um, she would be good with older children, again, because she's big, and loves walkies. Please, lots and lots and lots of walkies. Isn't that right, darling? Yes, I know. And I love the eyes. Can you look in the camera and show your eyes? They're very nice. Good. Excellent. And um, I think, I, I really think she'd enjoy training classes. Not, I have a feeling that she's actually pretty good about that, but I just think this is a very intelligent dog. And I think that she would really enjoy being given puzzles and things to w and listen to commands and work them out and work on them. Because I think when you've got a really bright dog, you do need to, like a bright child, you need to keep them involved. And I think you could have an awful lot of fun with this dog. I really do. And um, did I say about children, Alexa? Yes. Probably older. Yeah. Older, not young ones. And by the way, I was very wrong about Katie May. Uh, she loves children. She was um, talking to a four-year-old the other day, and she was just lovely, not bouncy or anything. So I have to apologize to Katie May for that. She, she would be all right with younger children. And, oh, Mr. Handsome, Mr. Handsome. Yes, he said, and I know it. I know how good-looking I am. Yes, and I can see that I think he's probably had some training already because he seems to be... Yeah, she's very smart. Um, yes. She, oh, she, she beg, his, beg her pardon. Yes. See, I'm getting a bit old myself. So anyway, anyway. so you've got a wonderful three-year-old dog here who is just um, ready and able and willing to come into your arms when you come to see her and take her out for a walk and realize 
that you really love this dog um, and you're going to love her more and more the longer you have her. So please come, she needs a home. So once again, sadly, whoops, <laughs> we say goodbye to you from the Lucy McKenzie Humane Society and I thank everybody so much who has helped us do this program today. Um, Amy and Jackie and um, Alexa and then Paula behind the camera. Um, we all joined together to, um, to find these wonderful animals a home. Hello, sweetheart. This one's going home today. So isn't that wonderful? So please keep, keep watching. Please keep telling your neighbor you've seen just the animal for them. You know how happy that two you'll be together and all of that. Or think about bringing someone from here to your own home. But, and please remember, again, that it's a senior sweethearts um, for the rest of the month and maybe a little bit over. So anything seven and over gets a special discount. And um, yes, I don't know, maybe I should be up for, sh up for adoption too. And there you are. <laughs> anyway, uh, you get a discount on me. Um, so take care and thank you for watching. And I hope you saw somebody today that you just have to have in your life. Bye-bye.